Hi, this is Mike Alhand, Dr. Fallfinder, and welcome to your Butterscotch Account tutorial on in email, what is a signature? Now here's a signature, a very well-known signature, but that's not what we're talking about. You'll note, especially in business, at the end of an email, there's often a relatively standardized block of text, often with a little dotted line above it, that gives you like your name, your position, your company, your phone number, fax number, address, and so on. That is an email signature, but a signature can be pretty much anything you want it to be. Now, for example, in Gmail, you can go in to settings under general and there's an option here to put in a signature that is appended at the end of all outgoing messages some people however don't want to have a signature at the end of every email or they want to have different signatures for different things now this is Google Chrome if you look at the extensions and do a search on signatures you can see there's quite a few extensions here that can help you with signatures. I've used a number of these. Auto Pen, Y Stamp is the one I use now, Blank Canvas, very nice. So for example, in an email, here's Y Stamp right here. This has my Butterscotch signature. If I want to change it, I can click here, say Business, changes to my business signature. Some of these extensions will allow you to have graphics, you can put in pictures, your company logo, you can have plain text, HTML, you notice that this is bold, this is not. There are other signatures and things like antivirus, we'll cover that later, but if you want to have an email signature, it can be pretty much anything you want it to be, and that's all there is to it. Hey, this is Doc. If you're looking for a cheap and easy way to put your own content on the web, go get domain names from Hover.com. Just visit Hover.com slash Butterscotch and you'll get 10% off and support shows like these. Thanks.